is to verify whether the process of transforming SMPR vertices to binary silhouette, silhouette is correct. So we have SMPR vertices, which is given by the SMPR models uh, with uh, a certain in input SMPR parameters. So after we get these SMPR vertices, we, we would like to predict the silhouette on the original images. So there are three off-the-shelf libraries we can use. First is PyRenderer, the second one is Neural Renderer, and third one is PyTorch 3D. So in the previous video, we have already verified that PyRenderer is, do have a quite accurate uh, uh, prediction for, for the silhouette. But uh, the problem is that it is not differentiable. So uh, as far as I know, it, it is not differentiable, and also uh, it, it does not support that, uh, the batch processing, so it, we cannot use it, use it in our in model inference. So uh, the current task is to uh, use the second one, the neural renderer, and to verify whether, whether uh, to to ensure its correctness. Um, and since this new renderer is differentiable, we can use it to update our SMPL parameters. Um, but uh, it may suffer from, it may suffer from the slowness in inference. So that's the next task we need to, uh, we need to f uh, tackle with. But first, let's verify its correctness of neural renderer. So neural renderer. So this is the graph. So, so we are comparing the silhouette predicted by pi renderer and neural, re neural renderer with the ground truth uh, given by SAM model. SAM is an on-the-shelf uh, segment, uh, segment tool uh, provided by Meta AI. So we just uh, input the uh, original image and and also we use Detectron 2 to detect the bounding box of the given person in the image. And we input the uh, bounding box uh, pos position in as a prompt to the uh, ACM model to get the ground truth silhouette. So the IOU is that, for example, by renderer predict uh, a certain silhouette and the silhouette will compare with the ground, ground truth silhouette uh, predicted by ACM. So this is the, the distribution. So uh, approximately, the two distribution is quite uh, consistent. The, I mean, the the distribution shape, but we can we can spot immediately that a lot of uh, for the newly adopted differentiable renderer, we have almost like almost uh, like sixteen uh, da data points that have zero IOU meaning that it does not render anything, okay? And also we do have, we do have some data that have a relatively low IOU here. Like, I'm not sure what the, what's the um, uh, more reasonable uh, values for IOU in this data set, but most, of the statistics sh uh, indicates that the IOU uh, lies within between uh, 0.7 or 0.67273 around these values. So uh, I, I just extract I just extracted the worst 10 IOU indices for pi renderer. So. Uh, and see what's the what's um, what's the root cause for for the low IOU. 
So the first, uh, first, uh, the first root cause is that the 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 ground truth is wrong. For example, uh, the uh, uh, the silhouette predicted on on the left hand side is by pi, ran pi renderer, and in the middle is the newer renderer, newer renderer, and on on the right hand side is the ground truth uh, predicted by the SAM model. So we can see that the ground truth is, is not correct. So the, the person should be white, but it predicted something, something else. Likewise, li in this picture, the, 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 the person is not, the ground truth is not, is not correct. So this is um, this may arise from either the bounding box we use it uh, used as a prompt to this SAM model is not correct, so the predicted person is not correct. So this is the first problem, and uh, and we we'll just continue to see other cases like uh, and in in this case, the ground truth. Uh, silhouette O O O rep uh, O predict uh, O uh, the ground truth silhouette are bicycle rather than a person. So so well, so so we need to for these specific cases we need to uh, find out why the SAM model predict bicycles rather than person so uh, in in this pipeline we we need to know whether the bonding box is accurate okay and the second one is if the bonding box is accurate then why it predicts bicycle rather than person okay so maybe the bonding box is accurate so given the bonding box here but it predicts bicycle rather than person so we need to find out what all the information is require that it only return the uh, the silhouette of a person rather than other thing else like a backpack or a bicycle. So the first uh, two scenario uh, all arise from a bad prediction of the ground truth, and. And in the middle, we can find out that in some cases, that at least ten, uh, ten or twelve cases where the neural renderer did not uh, output any silhouette. So we need to find out why that is the case. And the second one is that the the ratio is not the scaling is not. Uh, proportional to the original image. So the root cause for this kind of scale is quite uh, obvious. Is that uh, in the in in these uh, renderer function, we need to input the vertices. The, the vertices is just the location of these vertices. So we have these vertices in three D, and the the renderer function. Well, render it to two D, so the renderer need also need to needs uh, we also need to input the um, focal length of the camera uh, in order to render these vertices from three D to two D. So the focal length is decided by the uh, by the the the, the bounding box. Uh, the relative, uh, the uh, the relative scale of the bounding box to the original image. So, for this, uh, for the, the for these extre uh, extreme case cases, the the predicted bounding box is not is not accurate. So even though the pose predicted by SMPL is quite accurate, the the scale is different. Okay, so this is the second scenario, and the th third scenario is that 
the 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 SMPL is, is just not the predicted SMPL is just not accurate. For example, this person is standing, but the SMP the predicted SMPL is not uh, is just sitting. Okay, okay. So this is definitely definitely not correct. So you cannot you so this this may not directly link to a poor uh, ra uh, render result. Rather, it is arise from a poor t prediction of SMPL par parameters. And the fourth, the last uh, root cause is that there are some occlusions like the uh, guitar, or I'm, I'm not sure what was this, uh, some just instrument or back backpack uh, that may occlude the person. So the silhouettes are predicted by ASA, uh, ASAM will only predict the pixel where the person uh, of the per of the person. Okay, so in the case of occlusion, the c the pixel will uh, will not be taken into account, so they will have a quite a uh, large uh, differences between the silhouette predicted by SMPL and the silhouette predicted uh, di di directly from the images. Okay, so um, I think the next step is to first find out all the uh, um, maybe find out the le uh, the worst ten uh, twenty uh, images and make sure the bounding box of the person predicted by detectron is correct. So the uh, so the uh, the focal lens we use to render these images is correct, and we also need to find out why the some image uh, neural renderer cannot output any SMPL uh, and can, cannot output an, any silhouette in this case. And uh, lastly, uh, we need to know if the bounding box is correct, what our other information we need to feed into the SAM model to get a silhouette that is a person rather than all the objects like a bicycle. Uh, that's it.